Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel and let me again apologise for the state of this video. I am still without my studio, but I do have this Captain America fidget spinner, so that makes everything all okay, doesn't it? In this video, I want to cover a couple more things regarding screen recorders that I missed from my big air show update, and they are as follows. A lot of people have commented that there is a big screen recorder source on Safari, and that is tweakos.weebly.com, and as you can see, there are plenty of screen recorders here. You can swipe through them all and take a look at whichever ones you might want to try some of them probably don't work for example videos there which we know definitely doesn't work but what I want to concentrate on is this one here which is Airshow 061 or at least it says it is if you tap on a link to download it it's gonna come up with a familiar source if you watch my previous Airshow downloading sources video it's IPA signer so what this is gonna do is not download and install Airshow 061 it's going to download Airshow 045, which we've talked about before, but I'll go over it again just to show you exactly what causes the problem here. So once the application has downloaded and you've trusted the certificate, when you open up Airshow, you'll have to log in. And once you've done all the login process, you can check in the top left hand corner information button that it is 045. So now we've got that out of the way, let's do a screen recording on an iOS 10 device. This is an iPad mini 4 and see what happens. For the purposes of this video, it's going to be super quick. A simple 10 second screen recording of me doing a couple of swipes on the iOS home screen, stopping it and then trying to play back the video within Airshow. So screen recording done very quickly there, let's go to our video library and try and play the video and watch what happens. The answer is absolutely nothing, it's not even attempting to play the video, the tracking isn't going anywhere, you can see that the timeline is just going along, there's no glitching, it's just paused the video is broken. If I try and save this video to a photo gallery, it's even worse. It doesn't even play on a timeline. You just have one thumbnail of the screen recording starting, and that's it. And I know what you're gonna say at this point, we can fix this by importing the video into a video editor, such as iMovie, making no changes, and then exporting it out, and that should solve a problem. Well, I did that, and this is what you get. A black, blank screen, the video is not there, because there is something fundamentally wrong with the way videos are recorded on Airshow 045 versus the video codecs in iOS 10. It's just simply not compatible. Now, I know there's going to be another section of the audience that's going to say, well, this is completely wrong. I'm using it absolutely fine on my iOS device. Why is that? Well, here's your answer. This is an antique Apple device, an iPad mini one that only updates to iOS 9 because of its architecture isn't capable of dealing with iOS 10 or above. Here we can confirm that we are on 045, the same downloaded source as IPA signer or the Tweak OS website. And what I'm gonna do is another very simple quick test of recording my screen for about 10 seconds and seeing if we can play back the video on our iOS device. Have you noticed there the all style control center where you had to enable mirroring manually? Well, yeah, it's still there on iOS 9.3.5. That's the highest version this iPad is ever going to get to. So we're going to do some very quick tests going into the setting screen, swiping on the home screens, and let's go back to Airshow and stop the recording. Okay, job done on that one. Let's go to the library and try and play this video. And what you're going to find is that it does successfully play the video without any glitching, any pausing, any stutters. This is going to work fine on an old iOS device. So to clarify, if your iOS 10 or above, ideally you need 061 Airshow version. If you have an older iOS device, then you might be able to get 045 or 052 of Airshow and they will work to a certain point with your screen recording. If you are experiencing something different to this, let me know in the comments below, but you'll likely need a video to prove it as well. A couple more thoughts about Airshow, 061 is getting increasingly more difficult to find and with iOS 11 we know that Airshow doesn't record properly on that so it could be that Airshow is more or less dead in the water. Which leads us on to that great big hope, Evrecord. It's been updated once again to version 1.15 which promises to fix a lot of bugs. Well let's give that a test. Now the biggest problem is an existing one, whereby when you start a recording it kills all your external audio so you can't hear anything that's been outputted and I don't think it records that audio anyway when you do a playback. Now when Evrecord released this version of their application they noted this as a possible bug and gave us a solution. But all that solution seems to do is stop the recording, like this. They suggest bringing up the control center and switching the audio from every chord to your device. 
and all that does is simply stop the recording. You can tell it stopped recording because the blue recording bar at the top of the home screen has vanished. But if you go back to every chord, the application still thinks it's recording, which is a little weird. When you press done, that will take you back to the every chord main page, and you can look at the recording you have just recorded. When you play it back, as I say, there's no sound. And watch this, when you swipe up for the uh, control center and then switch the sound to the iPad speakers, the video just stops. So yeah, switching that sound does actually stop the recording. It doesn't switch the sound and continue the recording. So it's almost been a year since we heard of iRec 2 coming out, which transformed into every chord and it still doesn't work. I'll continue to cover it, but at the moment, this screen recorder is still not fit for purpose. As always though, my experience with screen recorders could be different to yours, so give it a try, it might work for you. Let us know in the comments below. And that almost wraps up this quick roundup of iOS screen recorders, except for one thing. Don't download iOS 11. It's buggy, the screen recorder doesn't work properly, and you're just going to fall into all sorts of trouble. Wait for the official release. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. As I say, normal service will be resumed shortly. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.